I mean, Terabyte would probably get, be able to get in your face pretty easily. Uh, you probably just buy a Blink Dagger on Terablade, hit um, Refraction or Reflection, and then just melee her down. But without that, if Drow manages to get an edge, manages to silence off the Terablade, Terablade doesn't get a Blink Dagger, I feel like Drow could be a pretty good counter to it, yeah. Well, that like a Bansy from OG. Zinkerets, they took out that Coddle. For another. What are you worried about, actually? I mean, there's, there's so many things. There's still the task available, actually, for Gerwets. Go back to that. Team pick. Settle on the Winter Wyvern. Huh. OG's turn to pick. Hmm. What about that one? Maybe it's uh, giving away something that they want to pick up later in the draft. Alright, so they pick up the Dazzle pretty quickly after they ban that out, and OG instantly responds the Lich, so... That's a pretty good pick here, being able to throw, or instead of the Tusk, being able to throw out that, uh... What is it called? Frost Shield now? Yep. Yeah, being able to throw out that Frost Shield on a target that gets roared, uh, significantly, uh, significantly reducing that uh, damage that the hero takes. Uh, I feel like that's pretty strong. You're not able to take down the hero in short order after they get stunned out anymore with the Beastmaster. That's what the Lich does here. Profit, so... A bit of extra... extra so push potential, a bit of extra plus one. These early team fights that can make the difference. <clears throat> also great against Luna, actually. I mean, like, it didn't really take long to think about it. Maybe they had it in mind even before Luna Ten came out, but... Remaining. Like, in that last game, we've seen Eclipse just being soaked up by random neutral creeps very, remain. very easily. And now with the Nature's Prophet, time it right if you're in the right position. Just spawn treants whenever you see Luna try and go for the Eclipse, and... Well, that's... <laughs> high ultimate will be completely wasted. Yeah, the Beastmaster last game got away with murder against that Luna. Nature's Prophet is a similar idea this game. And it looks like uh, Helsinki Red's thinking very hard about what they want their last band to be. Um, I think that you need a mid-hero that uh, has a lot of early power this game if you, you're on the side of OG. Maybe they pick up something like uh, Storm Spirit here. We're normally on the more greedy side here. Pagna is a good band for Helsinki Reds. Mm -hmm. More pushing power to the mix. Yeah. So you want to, you can still go. Ten seconds remaining. Maybe it's a little bit of a hint of what Helsinki Reds want to pick up next. Maybe they're thinking something Five like uh, OD. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world here. Yeah. What about Necrophos, maybe? The Dagon builds, start zapping people down. Mm -hmm. Zap them down after they get roared. Then you have Lich being able yeah, to reduce that damage. Magic damage here, apart from, yeah, mostly depends on bounces as well. Respond to the play band ball. with the Tinker Man. I like that. Uh, Helsinki Reds probably would have liked to pick up a Tinker here. That's something that would have been uh, pretty nice. Even with that Pugna ban now, that would have been a pretty heavy counter to the Tinker. I, I don't know. I'm not sure you can afford to go more greedy here like that. Especially with the Conquer now, it's also another one of these heroes that once hit level 6, level 7, and then just... You, you flip up a switch, right? Five you just start going remain. from lane to lane, you keep fighting, fighting, fighting with those low cooldown spells, and... Uh, if they set this kind of a pace again, which they certainly can, then... I think a Tinker is going to be in a position to stop that. Mm-hmm. Uh... It deals with the push a lot better than some of these other heroes. You do have decent wave spam um, in the form of Rubik. Uh, Fade Bolt, especially with Arcane Supremacy now, uh, clears waves pretty quickly. Both the nuke damage and that damage reduction coming out from it uh, lets you push out your waves and defend your tower pretty easily. So, he's a decent hero for dealing with that uh, kind of early aggression push. Tinker on top of it would uh, just make it impossible to get your creeps through the base as long as you're a little bit careful. You do have to be careful of. Uh, X with X marks a spot or bang is skewing somebody back, but so maybe they'll pick up uh, somebody a little bit more tankier. Maybe a Dragon Knight or something here. Yeah, I wouldn't hate that. Or you can just go for even more wave clear with some classic like Alina. Mm-hmm. But uh... Alina would be pretty safe to pick here. In the 
Spirit. Did I take Ember Spirit? That's a little bit interesting. Uh, you were talking about the lack of stuns here on OG. The only real big stun that they have uh, is Jerax with his RP. Oh, right. Lich has one now, doesn't he? Lich has Sinister Gaze, yeah. That's <laughs> a nice little disable. Mm -hmm. God, that Lich set looks ridiculous. It does. Uh, <laughs> Look at that shit. That like a what kind of a helmet is that? Like a Spanish little helmet with like spikes on it. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I want my helmet yeah. extra spiky. <laughs> spiky <yeah. laughs> In any case, um, has regrets. They go back for the Ember Spirit. How does the hero fare now against Song? And it's it can be a little bit tricky to lock him down later with this last combo. But if you do get caught. It's gonna eat, uh, yeah, have your entire, um, entire flame got eaten through, and if you mistime it with your, um, with your remnants, you can also be in trouble. But how does mm -hmm. that work out in the lane that that? Uh, against, uh, Kanka against anyone right now, it's all about the armor, the amount of armor that your hero has. Uh, if the hero doesn't have very much armor, then you're in pretty rough shape. Kanka has, I mean, Ember Spear has base armor 4.4. So he doesn't do the worst in the world against Kanka. Uh, he's not that great either. Somebody with like six or seven base armor would be a lot better. Uh, this is just due to how they changed Tidebringer around. Now does 165% cleave damage, but the cleave no longer uh, ignores armor. So somebody with more armor to deal with that Tidebringer cleave uh, obviously fares a lot better in lane. He got the branch and some slippers too, so uh, we don't see his full, his actual physical damage reduction yet, but. With this, okay, now we do, because he's away from that tier, uh, from the tower, so he's sitting at 23% physical damage reduction. Not so bad, uh, especially when compared to something like last game, when we saw the huge physical damage in the bottom lane, he actually had 6%, so. Ember Spirit will fare okay in lane, um, I think it'll heavily be dependent on the first couple of levels, though. Well, let's see how that works out, as we also see these side lanes take shape. W. Taken up the turret roll once again, of course, in safe lane with no tails. No big surprises there, that least off lane with Nature's Prophet together ah. with Jerex on his back. So, <laughs> what about this four position Mac? Is it something that can work or just do stuff for levels? Uh, this is the future of Dota, my friend. All you have to do is walk around and give your uh, heroes some power. In fact, he did that at level one before he sees any action at all. Yeah. So, that's how confident he is in walking around and using power on his allied heroes. Just uh, getting the Ogre treatment, you know, just, uh... There, there was a phase where Ogre was just... Ogres were just been told, alright, you max Bloodlust, <laughs> no matter what happens. Yeah. And then they uh, just kind of spam that on people from minute yeah. one, and... Yes, you... Yeah, you don't get to play Dota no more. <laughs> oh my Maybe god, they're... Prophet, he's sitting for 80 right now. Yeah, they actually managed to dodge this uh, early rotation from uh, all these trance. And Seb, Luna hiding in the trees down there, Dazzle TPs to the lane. So, they're trying to block them off and get into the lane, but they do manage to arrive safely. Nice. He's trying to get some extra with CS here with uh, his queens going down. Ooh! Poison touch is also something that's uh, very worthwhile to have. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey Whopper, he's on creep skipping duty right now. Yep. Well, it's a little bit scary getting too close to this Terror Blade right now while he's hitting Spanamorphosis. Wait for that to wear off and then you can stop skipping. You know, maybe didn't get the memo, gets blocked by his own draws. Like, maybe one or two more last hits than you, or right text than you would have been. Mm -hmm. But so far so good in his top lane, people doing his best on bottom, but look at the power against him. How do you win right click battles when you just dive three hits? You don't. <laughs> Fun fact. Right <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's look at uh, mid lane. Last game we saw Thompson on a hero that uh, he was pretty comfortable with, the uh, Arc Warden. He's uh, pretty well known for that one. Kunkka, not a hero that he's well known for. So we'll see how we fare is uh, in this game. We're talking about the matchup and how it was all about the armor on this Ember Spirit. Is five already, so he's going to be doing okay in this lane. Um, but it's actually even on CS right now. 
speaking of armor, what do you make of this Ring of Basilius on Uh... <laughs> what do I make of it? I think it's a interesting pickup. I don't really know why he went for this. Maybe... Oh! He's got to be going for Vlad's. They're going to rush this game. The only real explanation I am only it's not really an item that's picked up anymore. The and, uh, at least not on agility heroes, because you can't turn it into an actual anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you want... So, yeah, he's gotta be going for an early Vlad's if this is what he's getting right away. He gets a little bit of extra damage, plus seven. That's uh, close to what Blades of Attack give you. Gives you a little bit more armor, uh, helps you fight the enemy heroes, gives you the mana regen, but he's not using any mana, so... The what only explanation... As far as value items are gold in 7.20, it's not all it's up value. There. It's up there. But not so? compared to a Bracer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though they keep adding more and more money here, or keep upping the price tag on the Bracer recipes and whatnot. Yep. So the only explanation... Sort of yeah, the only explanation for that is we're gonna see an early Vlad's on the Kanka, and that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Damn shit from the shadow wave, now down half health, but they're clicking down a little bit further, but should be able to walk it off all he has. Hmm. Oh, just playing old, super. So being drawn here, right? Yeah. No, just playing super aggressive in all these lanes. They're constantly using metamorphosis off cooldown on the Terror Blade. Uh, and the bottom lane, they're uh, uh, constantly pushing out. They're constantly having treants up. Uh, and oh, mid lane. Well, managed to catch that one? Uh, not quite, no. <laughs> not quite, uh, not ended up getting a little bit happen. too close to that, uh, Kanka. Again, Kanka having a little bit more of an advantage as the game goes on and on. Now, uh, quite a decent XP advantage. Mm -hmm. Kill on first blood two, so I can well. Black the thing. I was expecting them to nerf the thing in this patch. It's kind of hard to nerf, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I suppose. Don't you nerf that? I mean, just want to start punching people for dying, die in general. Well, you get m more gold. You get more gold when it's a hero getting the kill, right? Okay. Maybe re change it around a little bit so you get the same amount of gold when it's uh, the dire killing it versus the hero killing it. That's how you can nerf it a bit. I, it's, I mean, you get more gold because of the EOE, right? Mm-hmm. So. I don't know, it's a little bit awkward for us. The TP coming in now was interrupted first, as I said, but Terrence says, No, we'll come, we can kill this guy. Uh, not sure about the sprout, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a little bit of a rough combo, because it'll pull you right through the trees and it'll break the trees with this new uh, shockwave, won't it? Yeah. yeah. Although, on the other hand, it'll knock Monkey King out of trees. <laughs> always nice. I'm not, I'm not sure if you've seen that one happen yet. Does it stun him? Or does it just... It does. Yeah. It stuns him. <laughs> Four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be a little bit careful if you're All a right. monkey train monkey game playing against a Magnus. Heads up for everybody. I mean, this game a little bit quieter than the last one here. That eight is skewered back right close to the tower. Now just TP's out, though nothing left to cancel that one, but... Even TP to, to the lane, but to have a start ready to go, so I'm totally wasting a lot of time either, can just start uh, taking part of this pull. Play from Hansen to Reds there, but... Uh, this off lane, is it going as well as OG can expect? Or would they want more of this? Uh, they're doing a really good job, I feel like. Luna only has 11, 12 last hits now. This is damage here, people! Likely to die. Yep. Down he goes, near instantly. So <laughs> things are going your way in that lane. Uh, and what does it bother me? Look at the CS 31 and 23 ice and from Croft. Ridiculous. He's level 5, Luna's level 3. Oh, he's just now hitting level 4. Yep, this is exactly what you want out of this lane. Uh, they're just dominating this. You have that extra base damage uh, due to that Empower coming out of the Ninja's Prophet. So it's so easy for you to get last hits. So this is the gaze into the skewer. And he threw that. Luna does have a lot more armor to work with. That should be enough, especially with green body blocks. Yep. Which almost died, but not quite this place. And look at Seb go! He wants this! He's gonna go for him! Radiance 
Well, is he able to finish? Oh, actually, I'm not sure. No, he's not right gonna... now. He's so. Oh my God, Seb! <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Your friends and your family care about you, but Dazzle is just so much faster than him. Okay, 360 okay, movement speed on. Oh. I think he just wanted to go deny himself without runs into Lebo. He had no mana to do anything here. So. Oh, he ends up dropping the branch. <laughs> you were across. <laughs> Jerex now at it again. Oh no, Jerex. Uh, Don't make the same mistake. Force out Womber into rotation. Where are they? Oh no. <laughs> he used the TP too. He's got to walk back to lane now. Uh, <laughs> That's a disaster for OG. They were doing so well before they bought that shit. <laughs> Questionable decisions were made. All right, we don't need to say anything there. I'm sure OG feels bad enough about themselves for that one. Well, they're gonna repair that a little bit or try to anyway. Rat eight up top, step beating in with the power of rush heels, trying to make this work. But last hero, a bit of a powerhouse himself, as it turns out. Almost doing enough damage here. A couple of all the, <laughs> all the blocks. I had to go for the wall. Finds it now. Dolter <laughs> tried his best there yeah, with these. Crazy, crazy body box, but ultimately it's gonna be a double kill for last hero, so I'm not sure they thought that one through. Alright, Dragon Drop, it's time for you to look at the win percentage in these last couple of plays. It's dipped back up uh, nearly even now when OG was starting to take it. 54% for OG now. Mm -hmm. Let's be real, they still have a freaking power blade. It's found decently well. Hasn't died, yeah. he hasn't power on his team. There's no way to lose. Speaking of decent farming, Kunkka at 8 minutes, 48 seconds, 75 last hits, 11 denies. <laughs> that's, that's so pretty decent. Yeah. Up some ancient. Thompson's probably grinning tooth to to uh, cheek to cheek with the amount of last hits that he has this game. Ember Spear not doing so well, sitting at 125 last hits behind him in 48. <laughs> Look at him, he's farming. <laughs> What? He's farming the Ember Spirit Zone. He doesn't <laughs> care anymore. <laughs> I mean, he's almost level 10. There's no way the Ember can actually start him. Yeah. Other, uh, unlike other heroes, the Ember Spirit shouldn't die to Topson anymore ever since he got the random. Yeah. So they can't really contest. Topson's telling Sayu that he is the boss of this gym. He is. So he has the three braces. Radiant Crimson got queued up, so yeah, for now that's still just the value. Still just. Uh, he's gotta be turning. I uh, like. He's going for. Uh, T twist. <laughs> Wait, what the hell just happened? <laughs> it's totally <laughs> died. <laughs> to the freaking ancient. Like, I guess How did that happen? He must have gotten rooted by the prowler. Oh no! <laughs> the prowler strikes again. <laughs> All right, that one can't be your fault. Uh, we we don't expect players of this caliber to be killed by neutral creeps. We really don't. But yeah, top lane, the pressure is still there. W he does have metamorphosis, but most thunders are not really in a comfortable position. Comes actually fighting into this CSV or also put this stuff on the sidelines. Put him here. Could be a good one. They don't know that the W and Jarex, but. Oh, they actually just send the illusion to farm the creep camp. They know that something's up over here. I mean, bottom lane, no one's responding to that push. Only mm -hmm. see the Luna mid. Okay, Jerak scouts him out. He's got the sentry down, but he gets rooted up! Oof. He does get away. Top together with the bolt here. Top's gonna deal with Hasio. The blue fight's there. Around the shrine. Only lose the Lich. Just some, uh, nice little roar now. Did better, even better RP. Death the Shrine going. Zep still ends up dying to Wombra as Thompson tries to clean house one by one. He just clicks him down, but it's a three for two trade. There's another axe onto Wombra here. There should be another kill for Thompson. He's, he's got a triple. Does have another axe to work with. He doesn't quite find a vision for Seo. No, it ends up being a canceling mid cast there, and it looks like uh, Ember Spirit's going to get away. No way they managed to track him down. Yeah, that Lich does not move fast enough, so they let him go. Thompson was up and farms that Prowler that stunned his teammate out there. Damn, Thompson doing so much yeah, just with the Impal on top of him. It's the max out at this point, of course it is. And, well, he's carrying his team right now, trying to create some space for the Sparrowblade. Mm -hmm. Alright, Thompson. 
uh, now completes his Crimson Guard, so he didn't go though for the Vlad's, uh, but he's going for that same sort of aura help your team build, so looks like they want to be uh, pushing this game pretty early, so I doubt that they're that happy with some of the mistakes that they've been making what within the bottom jungle there with no tail and Jerax both died in the top lane after that. No, that was, uh, they smoked up. Thompson just decided to farm some creeps. They're putting on pressure in at this Radiance bottom lane. Zep should be able to take care of this tower. Mm -hmm. The other side of the regrets. Not any more towers to take right now. At least not that the counter moves that are going. Roche. And they do have the medallion on these now. Yep. I think they realize that they're up to this. I don't think they are. I think they just think that they're playing safe right now. Yeah. Here, we don't see anybody. I mean, one was sitting there with the smoke. They just green, and this isn't the fastest roach I've ever seen, but this is gonna be fast enough. There's no reaction to it whatsoever. Yep. I mean, that's all you need right now. Vlad, Mir's offering on the uh, Beastmaster, followed by uh, three rate pants on the Luna. <laughs> no, if the recipe calls all you want, as we just people, is... people down. Top yeah. Is under attack. We'll go for it. Look at this change log. 7.20 now gives 8 attack speed. Okay, bonus reduced. Recipe power cost increased. Attack speed bonus reduced. Recipe cost increased. Four nerfs, but we still face three freaking raid bands. Yep. See you? And the DD rune, but top of the world is king of this uh, particular party with Frochi on top of him. Now the X combo, see you? Can you dodge it? He can, as it turns out. Mm hmm. So he gets away from that one. It was a little bit hard for him to damage that, even with the. Uh Double damage in there. I mean, you say, okay, I'm doing an extra, I'm doing double damage, but you're actually doing less than double damage when you consider that uh, frost shield reduction there. In fact, the building is there just yet, but they're running, Bomba's running into him, he gets skewed back. A couple more right clicks here should take care of him, and does indeed. Emmer goes back in. How about this one? Does have a another remnant? Next forces it out, the tower goes down. Mm hmm. Big contest, but so do you have to slow down here? I mean, they're fighting into the lineup of the ages, but they realize, hey, it's just Luna, level nine. You only have Warbit Mask. Yep. Can you really do anything in these? I don't know. They're caught out here, though. Try, but that's the X. The combo here, they're both coming through. Rabe down a half health immediately. He I'll stop you slow. These time left on Metamorphosis to just clean through the dazzle very, very quickly indeed. Now Rabe, uh, Rabe with another X back. Any moment here, okay. <laughs> nice little play from one man. Oh my god, um, this is two heroes fighting off four. <laughs> it's hard to connect. Oh, he does. Are you kidding me? Thompson, what a god, he's just pressing axes left, right, and center. <laughs> oh my god, Rubik, where'd he go? Rubik to death. Oh god, these are these dits. 100%. Meanwhile, a bit of a tassel up top. Last hero dies, gonna get all of these bounty runes. Oh geez, right back on track. Mm -hmm. They're not doing quite as well as they were in the last game. Uh, about this time they were pushing through the barracks, but they are aching up at uh, 50 minutes, so... They're trying to push their luck with this game. But, but Kunkai doesn't end up... W has not returned to this ancient camp. Still afraid of the Prowlers. Yeah, oh my god, did you see that? Thompson turns around there on Vipu. Vipu and ends up taking out half his life, if more than half his life. If he ended up proccing that crit right there, he might have one hit him. Zio actually finds a camera on in mid. Very quick assassination and jumps out. Yep. He wants to show in lane and yeah, of Helling Reds though, they smoke up, they have a roar, don't have the Necrobook. Gotta try and punish this cool guy here, just keeps farming your own jungle. Mm -hmm. Gotta do something here, did see him with the ward. Run into the cross here, oh. uh, everything being dropped into the eclipse, into the roar. It's gonna be just enough to bring him down. <laughs> he lost half his armor there to the Prowler Creep at the same time <laughs> as well, so... Neutral's even helping him out there, take down Thompson. <laughs> That's what he gets for farming in the jungle so much. Is that the Prowler sign a pack with those Reds? I mean, first the, <laughs> the one on the, 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 the battle side, <laughs> killing an LCW. Mm -hmm. The Prowlers are on the side of Helsinki Reds, everyone. Let the record show that. So, OG versus Helsinki Reds plus Prowler camps. 
bitch. Okay, this dies to all the incidental damage here. Let's do a lot in return. Chain for bouncing around, but it's no one really there to take advantage of it. Certainly not with Pops still on the sideline. So Helsinki Red's doing a lot with uh, that kill, getting some space. Uh, mm -hmm. To reestablish some semblance of control, but so hard of a profit too. I mean, doing the split pushing work. You can always join in the fights of the gangs with this rocket that he already has as a limit. Why yep. why about that? Going for this BKB next, I mean, you think, oh yeah, Nature's probably not that scary, but he's got pretty huge base damage right now. You throw another uh, Empower on him, which is making this maxed out first. He's, uh, he's up to like, what, 250, almost 300 damage? Yeah, he's a pretty scary dude. Yeah, look at him right now. 133 plus 142. <laughs> he's chunking you, we're only 17 minutes in. A lot. That is a big number trying to drop. Well, you're really good with numbers, so I gotta trust you on that one. There's a bit of a fight breaking out, and the sound is actually walking away. Damage not quite enough to bring him down. As Vipo, okay, he's trying to get the grave off, and still the gates says, nope. Mm -hmm. Get a chance on that. Yeah, it's interesting. Way. They've changed the way that you play Lich these days. Uh, I like that he has a disable now, though. Tower. Makes him oh, more useful in certain situations. Everyone was kind of laughing at Sinister Gaze that came out though, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been warming up to it. Oh, I mean, it's a cool spell, but well, I've been warming up to it. Uh, there we go. The I was waiting for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Torrent. Torrent. Now the setup. Oh, the follow here into the axe. And Sinister Gaze. <laughs> it's just a. Um, Okay, that's the wall coming in, that's they're trying to... Uh, I know what he's trying, I mean, he's trying to, if he's trying to die, then he's very much successful. No tail, does barely survive in the end. Yeah, that boat buff keep him alive there. So, uh, I've been warming up there, but it just makes him actually useful in these frontline games, which gives us a PP cancel. Mm -hmm. This doesn't work as well from behind, but uh, is that he's gonna die here? He's just fighting up, no, not, not mine, he's just fighting up against you. One Except one, God. No cares in the world. Hmm? Falling apart again, then. Things are falling apart, and uh, it looks like Helsinki Reds are in good spirits about it, regardless, because the Ember Spirit just keeps saying Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can do at this point, right? Mm -hmm. They just start to lose your mind. Oh, my, just for like what 400 something damage here with empowered metamorphosis mm -hmm. Radiance top tower is under attack. and that's a tier 3 chunk down like that another full on crit standing. stick on the conca upgrade for the mini crits as they say mm -hmm. towards the sentry moves on his way he ended up selling the basilius so he ended up making me look like a fool and ended up building the vladimir's offering uh, he did go for the crimson guard instead though <laughs> For bounties going the way of OG, I mean, this is a 15k gold advantage. 20 minutes in, it's very significant. And we'll find Zep here. Mm -hmm. For all this BKB. But this is just. Too little too late, it feels like. Put desperation smoke, sure, you get about 1 2k advantage back. People take a. Get a bit of space, but. What's to stop OG from the second fight right here? Maybe the war comes in, but pops into the boat. Just continuing, bring down Rubik here. No trust, so gets a few spells off, and these masters are all out of luck. All out of spells, and Tom's can just flick him down. Shallow Grave comes through, though, with Rabbit finding Johnny Party gets controlled up a bit by the tournament. Tom's he's pretty damn tanky, and Jerex comes in, showing off the bling dagger. Rabbit down for the count, 3 4 exchange. All is said and done, and yeah, I mean, this is tough for OG. Uh, what's the stop OG from just always doing this, taking these fights, running down a lane and claiming a set of rack? Yeah, and the more this happens, the more game is going to go in their favor. I mean, uh, right now, if Crimson Guard, which is a, such a great tool for dealing with both the Beastmaster, the Ember Spirit, and, I mean, all three of these heroes, Beastmaster, Ember Spirit, and Luna, your Moonglaives aren't doing anything against a team with the uh, Crimson Guard when he pops out at the start of these fights. They have huge initiation in the form of Magnus. They have a gem on him because they know they control the map. Uh, nothing's really stopping them at this point from just rolling down a lane and ending the game. I mean, they might wait for the Roshan, that's it, and ends up spawning a minute and 20 seconds, but they control the game right now and they know it. They have the tools they need to win. Uh, at this point, it's just a matter of, okay, uh, 
do we want to win right now, maybe give them a chance to come back a little bit, or do we want to win in five minutes from now, after we get the next couple of items. So, we'll see what they decide to do here. Nature's Prophet, a little bit close to his um, Assault Cross, so they might wait for something like that before they push the high ground, but again, it's only a matter of time at this point. Yeah. Even with uh, these items on a, even if OG waits the maximum amount of time that uh, um, they reasonably should or could, is that going to be enough for Hosen Kuretz to get any meaningful items online? She helped them with. I mean, Luna has a BKB queued up, but if you look at Jaren Network, like, even with a BKB, you're not doing, doing damage. I just went into that. And without a damage item, this, you know, we're close to that. Still not really doing too much. As Luna these fights, and the other core is Siu on this Ember Spirit. Sure, you've got the Maelstrom, but that in itself is not really going to be enough to uh, get these battles in your favor. Not up against Terror Blade, who's very tanky now with Skadi, with the uh, Sanj Nyasha, and also the Kunko, who's sitting at 3.6k health points right now. Yeah, that hero is ridiculously strong. I mean, that strength talent makes it a lot easier for him as well. 25 strength on top of having a growth rate of 3.3 uh, per level. Well, as soon as he gets that, he gets a huge power boost. That hero is impossible to take down. Boats come out as well, reducing the damage that he takes 50% over delayed duration, so... He's not the hero you want to initiate on. Yeah. And it's insane because he does so much damage as well. Again, it's just... Uh, you can punch these numbers into the calculator over and over and over again and just... doesn't really work in Helsinki Red. Not unless OG just, uh... <laughs> this is the case the Hawk. Skip the last of the Hawk, alright, that's one way to do it. Anyway... Um, you can't argue with results. Yeah. <laughs> money is money, right? Just... Taking what little Dyer's map vision you can't attack. get out of the map is taken out of way. Playing this out very, very safely, very... Very properly here, following the Book of Dead. Right? Mm -hmm. Here we are, ILTW, forcing up the glyph immediately on how much he's doing right now, 276 plus 166, that is a lot. Yes, <laughs> many damage. Minibarks, War comes out, does he try to take a fight up top, his Zep is down for the count, Mimo Rab super low, uh, but the illusion should be able to clean him out after the Shadow event. Two buybacks here, one from each side, also W still in the front lines, Bimo. This change back when since the game's into the RP, they actually caught the Ember Spirit! He buys back, same for Rubik here, and they want to try everything they possibly can to keep their racks alive, but ILTW, just wherever he goes, is just death and destruction. Yep, and after Five exhausting some of those buyback, here is going down. Hold <laughs> on, that's a couple of kills for them. Yeah. Another couple of kills going down. At a certain point, in the middle of that fight, they realize, all right, this just isn't happening. There's an overwhelming advantage right now for OG yet again, and over 1k a minute advantage. This game ends up being a little bit uh, more in the favor of Helsinki Reds. I think that was a little bit due to that uh, walk through the forest that No Tail and uh, what was it No Tail and Jerax did in the top lane. They did a little bit of a throw, but other than that, pretty solid performance out of OG.